What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Beard Box, and welcome back to- No, not welcome back to. Sorry. I messed it up. Restart. <gasps> What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Beard Box, and welcome to Romance Detective 2. I almost said so last time. Last time was a completely different game. It's in the description below if you want to see it. So this is another game made by Nom Nom Nami. It is unfortunately unfinished, but we'll get into why exactly in a minute. There's a whole scene for it. Not scene. What's the word I'm looking for? Explanation? Sure. That's a better <laughs> word for it. And I mean, it's Nom Nom Nami. It's going to be great either way. So. I can tell you that it's great. You want to know why? Because <gasps> I worked on this shit. Oh! I didn't do a whole lot, but I... Actually, I was probably one of the first people who saw it, huh? Probably. I was probably the fourth person to see it because there's Nam no Nami and Protag who wrote it and Konatizer did the music so he probably knew what happened they probably knew what that happened I don't know male or female or whatever but, so yeah, yeah I was probably about the fourth Ooh. that's cool that's yeah. sick and you all will be last to know because this recording is very very late I, I apologize for that it's so, not that we didn't try though so we'll s save you the melodrama and we'll just begin 11.20 a.m. Love Goon City Art. That's right, I skipped it because I played through it myself. Uh, so, Nam Nami just stop production of this game for personal reasons. Go play the game if you want to find out. It's free. It's in the description. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> hey, detective, do you know why I brought you here today? If you mean to say there was a reason other than to appreciate, appreciate, mm. to appreciate, uh, oh my goodness. Uh. If you mean to say there was a reason other than to appreciate the beautiful works of art displayed on these walls, then no. I'm not aware of what that might be. I'll give you a hint. Guess what today is? Ah, now that you mention it, this is where we first met, one month ago. <laughs> That's right, it's like an anniversary date. You've certainly grown into your romance title. I'm honored to hear that from the lovely romance detective. Do you plan on this rose-themed exhibit being featured as well? Uh, no, that was actually an unfor unfortunate coincidence. Unfortunate, hmm? Yeah, I mean, roses have been kind of ruined for me since that case. They are... bittersweet, I suppose. How so? While they certainly caused a great deal of trouble, we might not have met otherwise. Hmm, I never thought of it that way before. I guess that makes this a romantic coincidence. Indeed it does. Let's take a closer look at this art. We gotta have the full experience. Yeah, full Yee. experience! So I know everywhere to, where to click. Yay! Yay! So let's start here. This is the same vase from our first assignment together, isn't it? Who could forget? It's one of a kind. Looking at it now, I almost want to take it home as a keepsake. Even despite its gaudy appearance? Hmm, it's definitely grown on me. You know, maybe it's rude to say this, but it doesn't look like much effort was put into some of these. Look closer. You can feel a unique energy from each brushstroke. Do you see how the paint has been layered and on in some places more than other? Mm. Huh? <laughs> I forgot the S. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but more paint doesn't necessarily mean more effort. These ones are just blobs of color. Romance Cop, it may be true that a skilled artist's work will often seem effortless. However, it can take years of practice to be able to create such intricate works as these. Sure, but they're so messy compared to that big one behind us. It just feels to me like the artist got lazy. It's better. <sighs> you tend towards more traditional figurative art, I see. Very well. There's still hope for your taste to expand in due time. Oops, I feel like it disappointed her somehow. Yeah, you insulted Nami. Oh. Shirk. Uh, let me guess. Is red your favorite color? Hmm? I suppose it's crimson. To be specific, it's very alluring. No wonder you'd be drawn to roses, huh? I mean, aside from being named after them. Roses are a symbol of romance and beauty. I'd always admired them as such. Though now I no longer feel the need to carry one with me as proof of my devotion to romance. Also, yeah. it would oh. fuck with my head, so... Uh. <laughs> that too. Well, that and you're beautiful without the help of any silly flower. <gasps> Aww... <laughs> You're turning your favorite color. Now enough of that. Ah. Click on the leaflet, which we take, take home. home. Oh, oh my gosh, excuse me. So, um, after this, I was thinking we could go to bed. <laughs> Stop <Smooth>. that. <laughs> <laughs> Come in, romance cop. Oh, it's the chief. I thought yours was more gruff for the, the chief. It's been so long. Yeah. I, mean, I remember Romance Cop and Romance Detective, and that's it. Yeah. Everyone else has completely escaped me. <laughs> oh, and cute because it's just me doing this. Ah. Uh, it could be urgent. Romance Cop and Romance Detective here. Do you need us for something, Chief? 
Sorry, I know you're off duty today, but, but I've got a few things that need taken care of. Things have been unusually busy lately, so you're the ones I can count on. Could it be crimes against romance? Go ahead, Chief, we're listening. First and foremost, it seems like a punk teenager went on a vandalism spree and ruined some school property, among other things. I want you two to go investigate. Huh? Wouldn't that fall under the school resource officer's jurisdiction? What? Why would a middle school need something like that? I thought every school had its own police officer. At least the ones I went to did. I guess it's different in Love Bloom. Romance Cop, what kind of city did you come from? A normal one. An evil one. Aww. That aside, just head over to Snapdragon Middle School. The vice principal will fill you in on the details. Oh, and the other thing, we've got an escaped convict on the loose. An escape? What? Shouldn't you have brought that one up first? Nah. <laughs> he isn't dangerous, I don't think. But we should probably find the guy, so drop by when you can. I'll show you his mugshot so you know who to look for. Understood. Thank you, Chief. No problem. Always happy to have the romance duo on the case. Please don't call us that. Please do call us that. <laughs> Oh, don't be so shy, romance cop. See you two later. I'm not the shy one. Now then, what was you about to say before the chief called us? Oh, um, just that I wanted to go to the park after this, but now it looks like we'll be busy. Worry not, romance cop. I'm sure we will have plenty of future opportunities to spend our quiet, peaceful days at the park. Is this really okay with you? We were supposed to have the whole day off. Well, now I get to go in guns blazing at a middle school, so yes. <laughs> Whether we're on the job or not, what truly really matters is our time spent together. And the Glock you have. <laughs> Detective. I'm just kidding. Romance cop doesn't use guns. He. She uses romance. But what I mean is, it's nothing to fret over. Uh, our city needs us. Agreed. Alrighty then, let's decide what to do first. Vandalism case or the escaped convict. I leave that entirely up to you. So let's go to the police station. I want more info on whoever broke out of our little jail. I just can't imagine why the chief was so calm about it. I'm curious as to what kind of criminal we're dealing with. If he was able to escape, it's possible he's a professional. Our jail is always so empty, I'm surprised there was anyone in there to break out in the first place. Anyway, let's go. 12.30pm, Love Bloom Police Station. Hmm. You ladies got here fast. Couldn't expect anything less from my two favorite members of the force. That's favoritism. <laughs> I must remind you that I do not qualify as an officer, an official member. However, the sentiment is appreciated. <laughs> So, the second favorite member of the force is someone who's not even on the force. Chief, dick move. Ah, uh, um, Chief, I have to ask, why are you wearing an eye patch? Is today some kind of pirate-themed holiday I didn't know about? Oh, this? Lost my eye, no big deal. What? Are you okay? I put that in. Aww. <laughs> <laughs> Lighten up, romance cop, I was joking. Just got a little banged up last night, you know, by our uh, jailbreak friend. Did, did he punch you down during his escape? Oh, no, 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 nothing like that. He slipped out so quietly, no one even noticed he was missing until this morning. Nah, the eye patch is from what got him arrested in the first place. Can you please tell us the whole story from the beginning? The way you've been explaining this, I feel like you're trying to give me a heart attack. I think I put that one in, too. Aw, you did a good job. <laughs> it appears Romance Cop has not grown accustomed to your peculiar sense of humor, Chief. Please go easier on her in the future. <laughs> yeah, sorry about that. You shouldn't worry about me, though. I'm extremely robust for my size. Anyway, we'll start here. This is our guy. He's so sad. Aww. The chief hands you a copy of the mugshot. I told him we didn't really need to bother with photos since he wasn't really being arrested, but he was very insistent that we follow proper procedure. Why would anyone want to go through all of this? So what happened was, we were both at the sports bar to watch the game, right? And I happened to be sitting next to him. Ah, uh, yes, sports bar. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, sports and balls and <laughs> throwing. Yes, very, very familiar with that. I love it when those soccer players hit a run and get the goal. Get it's... the points. <laughs> Pay attention. <laughs> it was an intense game, so of course when our team scored, the whole bar got really worked up. So suddenly, an elbow got me right in the eye. Ah, uh, yes, scored when you put the football into the, the hockey net and uh, you everyone yells bonsai. <gasps> He got a pretty good hit on me and I stumbled backward into some chairs. It must have looked a lot worse than it felt because there was a whole crowd of people surrounding me asking if I was alright. Ah uh, yes, alright, if you, uh, I'll stop. <laughs> and this guy, our perp, was all on my face apologizing over and over. I kept telling him it wasn't his fault and that it was totally fine, but he wasn't having it. Then I guess someone shouted something like, Hey, that's the chief of the police who just assaulted bro, which really only made the guy even more panicked. Things escalated, and he ended up on his knees begging me to lock him up for the night so he could make up for what happened. It was pretty ridiculous. Even though everyone there agreed it was clearly an accident, he just wouldn't let it go. The only way that night was going to end was with me taking him to jail. 
So I did what I had to and arrested the guy. The end. So then, I, I don't get it. Why did he break out? Who knows? Change of heart? I understand why you must capture this man. Without spending his full night in jail, he can never atone for his mistake. Well, like I said, I never held it against him in the first place. But he shouldn't have made such a big deal out of it if he wasn't going to follow through all the way. What a strange guy. As soon as we find him, I'm demanding an explanation. Let me know how that goes. I'm here if you have any other questions. Thank you, Chief. Oh, hold on. Before we go, I wanted to change into my uniform. You know, I'm really glad I paired you two up. That girl was so uptight when she first got here. With you around, she's much more relaxed. Is that so? It's all thanks to you working those romance detective charms. Ew. But really, Rose, thanks for always helping out. There's no need to thank me. After all, it's my mission in life to carry out <laughs> romantic justice. <sighs> what? Because we have a friend named Rose, and I'm just really imagining them trying to do like a very oh, dramatic romance cop. It's making me giggle. <laughs> of course, of course. You know, it's really nice seeing you around more often. I did not realize you previously longed for my company. We're friends, aren't we? I just figured you were always off doing your own lone wolf thing. Important romance cases to solve and whatnot. Perhaps the three of us should go out sometime. I would like to make up for the years of neglect you have suffered. Sounds good to me. But I gotta do the boss thing and tell you it ain't happening till your work's done. Then we will be swift. Sorry to keep you waiting. I'm ready to go now. Perfect timing, romance cop. Let us proceed. I suppose you two will be headed to the school now? Right. We'll be sure to keep an eye out for Mr. Jailbreak on the way. I love the finger gun. <laughs> we will solve both cases in the name of love. She's so cute. I love romance cop. Me too. I love romance detective. Yeah. I, I like this game. Yeah. <laughs> I can be you. Okay. Uh. You uh, two must be from pl police department. I forgot it was me last time we were yeah. recording. Yeah. <laughs> it's a pleasure to meet you. I'm Vice Principal Bell. Huh. And I'm so happy to see you. Hey. I am Romance Detective. I am less happy to see you. Oh. This is my partner, Romance Cop, who I'm always happy to see. <laughs> Heavens, I wasn't expecting them to send the great Romance Detective for something like this. And you're a duo now. How exciting. My partner and I appear whenever we are needed for romantic justice. Yep, no crime is too small for this team. So please, give us the rundown, ma'am. What happened here? Well, we had a group of students decorating a food stand for the big spring festival in order to raise money for the school. They were going to sell baked goods, same as every year. But apparently someone mm. took issue with that because they decided to sabotage the whole stand. Come with me. This is what it looks like as of last night! It's very... colorful? It used to be much cuter, if you ask me. The students only have today and tomorrow to fix it up and make it presentable. We'd like to catch the little troublemaker as soon as possible, before they have the chance to do something like this again. Could you two find out who did it? Leave it to us. It was Romance Cop. Ah. Oh, I didn't know we were over <laughs> time. Thank you, Romance Cop. I was too busy with my quest for romance, ah! not for romance, but for romance justice. <laughs> color, I, I wow. Don't, I don't know what I was going for. It was All really right, cute. Color. <laughs> so thank you everyone so much for watching. Uh, next time, we'll find out who that perp is, maybe. And maybe we'll find that guy who broke out of jail, maybe. Maybe. I know who it is. Do you know who it is? I know who it is. Mm. All right, sweet. So we'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye. I worked on the game. <laughs> Such a big fan, you should have bought a ticket in advance like everyone else. They were already sold out by the time I- Look, it doesn't matter. Give me a ticket and I'll tell you everything I know. Leave it to us. What? Detective, you can't be serious. This is a case of love, Romance Cop. It's our duty to solve it. Oh great, glad that's settled. Now my spirit can rest in peace. Goodbye, world. Blay. Stay alive for like two more minutes. What am I supposed to do, dude? This is so awkward. You should probably start by not asking a corpse for advice. <gasps>